I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw it was a dark and stormy night. I'm going to come, let's do four fingers from the top in the center and put a dot. And from that dot going towards the left, I'm going to draw a curve line out, curve line in, curve line down, curve line up, and connect. Inside, I'm going to draw curve line, up, connect on the left, curve line, up, connect on the right. Right here in the center, kind of a flat curve line up, over, and connect. I come right back up here to the top, and I'm going to draw straight line down, curve line in, straight line down and connect. Right here in the center I draw one, two little straight lines. Right above it I draw a curve line down on the left, curve line down and connect on the right. I come back up to the top and I'm just going to draw a little curve line on the left, little curve line on the right. Starting back on the left, I draw a curve line out, up, and leave it floating. Curve line out, down, connect. I come back over here on the right hand side and up at the top, we're just going to draw some wavy, wavy, wavy line. At the top, connect. Come on the, the left, wavy, wavy line off the page. Now come over here on the right, let's put a dot, and we're going to draw zig, zag, zig, zag, zig, and leave it floating. Come back down to the dot, zig, zag, zig, zag, up, back, connect. Come on the left hand side, down here let's put a dot, we're going to draw zig, zag, zig, zag, zig, Going up, come back to the dot, zig, zag, zig, zag, zig, zag, up, and connect. Now we're going to draw wavy, wavy line, jump over, wavy line, back, jump over, wavy line, off the page. Come over here on the right, wavy, wavy line, wavy, wavy line, wavy line, up, and connect. Okay. Now let's come back up to this space. Let's draw one, two little straight lines. Come on the right hand side. We're going to draw a curve line out, up, connect. Come down a little bit, curve line out, up, connect. Curve line down, up, connect. Come right about here on the left, we're going to draw a straight line across off the page, jump over, on the right, straight line across off the page. If you have room, put a dot, zig, zag, zig, zag, zig, zag, come back to the dot, zig, zag, zig, zag, and connect. All right. Now, come all, oops, one more, wavy, wavy, wavy line, jump over, wavy line, wavy line down, jump over, wavy, wavy line, off the page. Okay, now come all the way down here, starting on the left, big curve line up, over, and down. Next to it, big curve line up, over, down, one more, big curve line up, over, and down. Come back over to the first one. One, two, 
curve lines, one curve line. Come to the next one. One, two, curve lines, one more, curve line. Come to this last one. One, two, curve lines, one more curve line. Now, we've got forefront, middle ground, and background. That's going on also. I think that's all. Let's see how we're going to color this in. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is take my yellow and color in this space, this outside space, these spaces, all yellow. And this is so I kind of establish my background. So this is all yellow. Okay. Then I take my green and I'm using my yellow green because I wanted to look a little sickly. And I'm going to color this space, this space, these spaces going down and this big space up on the top. Okay? Now you can always pick different colors. We've talked about that before. You decide you're the artist. This is the color. These are the colors I chose. Okay? Next, I am going to fill in with black all of these spaces and again this helps you see what you've drawn and you might want to do these pretty dark probably darker than what I'm doing up to you totally up to you okay so these are all going to be black these are all going to be black Okay, work your way over. There we go. Now, next thing I'm going to do is color in all of these spaces gray. And some of you will go, I don't have gray. Amazingly enough, if you do it light black, you pretty much get the same effect. I don't know why I'm using gray. I think because I had it in my box. So if you have gray, go for it. If you don't, just use your black lightly. It'll still work and give you the same effect. And once again, we're doing this so we can see what we're doing. Okay, because on this drawing, the background is kind of important to give you the right feel. Okay. Now, I'm going to do, with my orange, I'm going to do wavy, wavy lines on the bottom space. Wavy, wavy lines going down. Everybody's going to have a different amount because we all draw differently. But wavy, wavy lines of orange filling in this bottom space. Then, on the upper space, I'm just going to use my regular blue and do straight lines. All the way across. We want this to add to the colors that we're going to use. Then, once you've done that, take your black and carefully loop-de-loop -loop a light black next to the lines you just drew. Because you don't want to kill your orange. And when we do the blue, you don't want to kill the blue either. But you want to fill this all in with black. Keep going. Keep going. Lightly loop-de-loop. -loop. Now, this would be a good watercolor project, but I don't have any watercolors. But if you have watercolors, you might want to experiment with that look. This would all be done with a watercolor wash. But 
if you're like me, you've got cramped. So now I carefully loop de loop right next to all these colors. Kind of don't want to go over the colors because then you can't see them as well. But take your time. Like I always say, if you're coloring so hard, your hand hurts, you're going way too dark. Or way too hard, I should say. So loop de loop. And I'm going to put some little black lines. This is the only time you can draw over that yellow. But work your way over, up and down. Now what I usually say, you want to do the drawing in one session, color your objects for a second session, and then leave the background for a third session so you don't get tired. Okay. This is done way too fast, but you get the general idea. Okay, let's see what this looks like all colored in. Okay, here is my dark and stormy night all colored in. Okay, bye-bye.